On April the 26th, 1986, a hydrogen explosion ripped the reactor of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant apart. Many people were killed by the explosion or by the powerful radiation. Most of the so-called liquidators, who decontaminated the plant, died later of the after-effects of radiation, of cancer, of immune deficiency diseases, of cardiovascular diseases, or suffered from severe depression, resulting in suicide. One will never find out how many Chernobyl victims there really were. Pavel Shemet was one such radiation victim. He was employed in the 1986 cleanup work. It can be seen as a miracle that he survived the radiation sickness. This miracle is a message of hope for the people of Japan. With this message, Pavel wants to tell the people in Japan, don't despair. There is no incurable. God is the greatest physician. Pavel wants to encourage people never to give up hope of help and healing, a healing that he has personally experienced on the spiritual path through the teaching of Bruno Gröning. On May 2nd, 1986, we were commissioned with the cleanup work. We were a total of 30 military personnel. We worked on cleaning machines, scrubbing the paths, and building new ones, so that they could begin the repair work. After May 23rd, we were no longer allowed to enter the restricted area. I felt fine despite the physical reactions to the radiation. Everything seemed to run normally. I was almost 33 years old, and I was totally healthy. But that was a big mistake. The physicians treating Pavel talked him into minimizing the symptoms. What had happened? Upon contact with the radioactively contaminated material, while still at work, despite the gloves, he got many small blisters on his palms and on the soles of his feet, and his skin puffed up. It looked like eczema, but the radiation exposure had caused even worse damage. Damage that was not externally visible and did not disappear after a short period of time, but rather got worse from day to day. Pavel was sick. His comrades died, one after the other. Only he remained. After 1987, he was almost continuously in hospital until 1992. In 1992, I was in the hospital for most of the year. Then I was discharged as incurable and sent home to die. Most of the time, I felt terrible. I often lost consciousness. I switched off completely. And that's how it was all the time. I couldn't move anymore. And I didn't want to either. Yes, I am the wife of Pavel Petrovich Shemet. In 1986, he took part in the liquidation of the after-effects of the Chernobyl reactor accident. In 1993, his health had deteriorated to such an extent that he was discharged from the hospital, having been informed that he only had two to three months to live. He was classified as severely disabled second degree. The diagnosis was organic brain damage. I started looking for ways to help my husband get well. I suffered a complete loss of strength. I couldn't hold on to anything anymore. I couldn't work anymore. 
I had severe internal pain, but I wasn't able to pinpoint it because it was everywhere. I found it hard to say where I had the pain. I have concerned myself with the healing of Pavel Shemet's illness, and I have a medical report from March of 1992. Mr. Shemet suffered severe damage to the nervous and vascular systems. This was particularly apparent in the area of the cerebrum. He demonstrated severe lapses of memory, even memory loss as well as severe signs of inflammation of the gastrointestinal tract. Such radiation sickness is completely incurable from a medical point of view. The greatest thing a man can have is, and will always remain, his health. Only he who has lost his health can really understand these words of Bruno Gronings, who already came to be known worldwide during his lifetime for the amazing healings that occurred during his lectures. Healing on the spiritual path through the teaching of Bruno Gröning is something totally natural. According to his teaching, it concerns the reception of the healing force. This force can be received by everyone free of charge. Bruno Gröning said, God is the greatest physician. There is no incurable. More and more people today experience inexplicable healings of cancer. Parkinson's disease, angina pectoris, rheumatoid arthritis and osteoporosis, but also of drug and alcohol addiction, as well as depression. A great variety of medically documented success reports substantiate the efficacy of this teaching. Pavel is now also one of the healed. After I was introduced to the teaching, I took in the healing force every day. My life began to change completely. Uh, during reception of this power, I also asked Bruno Gröning in spirit for the healing of my husband, and miraculously, he started getting up and feeling better. Although he had swallowed loads of drugs in the past, he now felt better and better without any medication. His memory has returned. If I forget something, he reminds me of it. Today he is completely healthy. Previously, he had no longer been able to drive a car because he often fainted and fell over. As a former professional driver, he knew how dangerous this was and didn't drive anymore. Now he has no more problems and has taken to driving the car again. Our life has changed fundamentally during this time. For that, I give thanks. Today, I can move about, I can run, work, help around the house, and I feel well. I am so grateful to everyone, to all our friends from Berlin and from all over Germany, who brought us Bruno Gröning's teaching. And even free of charge. I would say that my condition could be judged as good. Again, I want to thank everyone very much. Why are you in the circle of friends? What does it mean to you? Because we have been led back to life, to a normal, healthy life, which is simply our life today. We will now take this path and never depart from it. That would simply be impossible. I have never before felt such happiness. Why should I leave this path? 
This healing is completely unusual. As you have heard, Mr. Shemet was considered incurable and actually discharged by the doctors and sent home to die, with pain encompassing his entire body, with signs of inflammation, with a memory disorder. Actually, he was incapable of living. And then he takes in this healing force that brings order and regulates, and the symptoms disappear. He is free of all pain, all signs of infection. One can say he's been given a new life. We cannot explain this from a medical point of view. Very clearly, a spiritual healing has taken place. The Bruno Groening Circle of Friends is one of the largest associations in the world for healing on the spiritual path. In the Circle of Friends, the knowledge of this form of healing is passed on in a free, non-denominational and not-for-profit organization. The Circle of Friends is represented all over the world, on all continents, also in Japan. All the people work as volunteers because they are so grateful for the healing they have received and because they want to help others. Access to one of the more than 2,200 local communities in more than 90 countries is open to anyone who seeks healing and it is free of all financial and legal obligations. The work of Bruno Gröning is funded entirely through voluntary contributions. We do not treat or diagnose. No one is discouraged from taking medication, seeing a doctor or having treatment. Bruno Gröning said, have faith and trust. The divine power helps and heals. Convince yourself. For more information, please visit www.bruno-gröning.org.